Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, looking around the world, thinking about what we might be able to do, and uh, I think what we're going to do today, is we're going to take this kind of nether portal bland area from when we entered the nether, and we're going to completely redo this. What I'm kind of thinking, let's just clear out a little bit of space so I can show you guys what I'm thinking. So we're going to kind of take one side, and we're going to make it kind of have the red fire appearance. And then we're going to take the other side. Just clear out some more space over here. And we're going to bring the blue kind of water look. Kind of mix the red and blue together. Uh, kind of taper it up with some... Just playing netherrack in the middle probably. And then it'll turn into just plain blue and just plain red. Got some bone blocks, so I have plenty of netherrack to turn the blocks into the right thing. And we're just going to kind of do like a big cavern type look. So I have a lot of digging to do. I have a lot of stuff to get started on. But I just wanted to show you guys what I'm thinking as we hop into this project. All right, guys. I finally have everything dug out. Got to get the floor place still. It, it is a pain placing this all. Look at all these particles that pop up. It's so hard to see once you get more than just a couple down. Like, yeah, look at all that. Um, I still have some holes in the wall to fix. Just gotta throw some stuff in. A little high up. This was interesting to dig out. Uh, I decided to go with the roof being highly random. And just see how I liked it. I figured I could scrounge up some scaffolding or something to easily go through and even it out if I wanted to. I think I like how it turned out though. Um, the main emphasis of the room is going to be after the trees and stuff get put down. Like here, let's just take a look. Is my yeah, my stuff Dutch? I run a yeah. Once a couple of these are grown. This is going to look a lot nicer. Uh, I'll also be able to do away with some of the torches because we'll be using able to switch to a little more shroom lighting for some of the light. But, um... Looks like these... Oh, you can't grow them on the red. You have to move them to the warped fungus. Interesting. I thought you could at least grow them on the red. They just would still turn into warped trees. But, yeah. So, a little more to do on that front. Um, overall, I'm just of all the particles from every time I go around. Uh, the other thing, I think what we're going to do for the pathway through, I forgot I threw a bunch of netherrack over here. I think we are going to cut out a path through the middle. And I think we're going to use like soul sword. I think that's my current plan. We're going to want to be able to get to over here. So we are going to have to run something through. I figure soul soil kind of gives that middle ground um, of the patch of blue over here, the patch of red over here, it really gives that diagonal feel. I went ahead and just placed a bunch of them with them connected, where it would pick one of the two to bone meal, kind of randomly, so that it would really give a randomized feel, and I really like how that turned out, actually. It, true, like, it, it really was random, it's kind of why I like it, but yeah. So, I'm gonna get some more work done, and... It might actually be a little bit in the future when I'm recording the next video. But. So, got the actual proper colors on both sides now. Um, almost got the soul soil running through. Looking at it like from an angle like this where you can't see the gap. I, I think it looks pretty nice. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I want to grow some of these trees about. I want this to be pretty heavily populated. I think that only makes the most sense. Because I want it to feel a little more like you're running down through a kind of a split forest rather than uh, feeling like an actual, like, room, you know? 
So like we're just gonna grow a bunch of these. And... Boom. I like how occasionally the other colors pop out when you bone meal stuff, but at the same time it does always feel a little jarring when something just something red pops out in the blue section. It's actually far enough out of here. Throw a crimson fungus like here and here. Yeah, perfect. Kind of spread the other color to the other side. And then I think we can also get a blue one like right here, kind of. Nice. I can be able to put one there. Yeah, perfect. That way it spreads on either side and it really does kind of feel like a little more of a bright forest split between the two. I like this. It's nothing crazy fancy, um, but for kind of a entry room into the nether, I think it's a lot better than just kind of that nether, <laughs> nether rack ice path like it turns into over here. I definitely like this lava. All right, so room is done, path and all. I quite like how this turned out. I am really glad I decided to go for kind of the diagonal mixed look. Um, but one thing that I wanted to mess with is right here. I think it now feels a little bit of a planned transition. So I want to try to just do something with this. My initial instinct is to just kind of mix the blue and red on either side. I don't know how to... I will do the top and maybe shroom lights. Uh, let's just see how this looks. It does feel a little weird because the red moves over here. So we'll see if that affects it. Boom. It's alright. I think we need to bring both of these one higher and do something up here. As I said, something like the shroom lights might work. Maybe shroom lights on the entrance and then bury it up with something like, say, foam blocks. Just gonna try because I have a bunch of my inventory anyway. Just something like that. It kind of lightens the transition into all the white blocks once you get to the other side. So why is that off center? Or is this off center? Like what? This looks off center. Ah, uh, that's interesting. I can't believe I've never noticed this before. I guess to be fair, I've only ever been running through here. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's rough. Yeah, this is off center by one. Might have to that in the future, but for the moment, I think this looks quite nice. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much about it being off center because I was already considering changing this room. Uh, so for the moment, not worried about it. I think this is probably fine. Uh, let's see. All right, I think we're in business overall. I am very happy with how this room turned out. Don't think. Yeah. Yeah, like, there's a couple things, like, maybe could soften the jagged edges of the roof a little bit. Like, just make it a little less sharp so the single blocks that are sticking out remove them. And stuff like that. So, like, there's a couple small details that maybe you could change. Like, I like a little more how it turned out over here, where I tried to soften it a little bit while doing it. So, like, over here and up there, I, I could see changing some stuff with it, but overall... I really like how it turned out. I'm glad to make some progress on some nether stuff again. It's been a while. Um, but yeah. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. God bless. Bye bye.